Don't let this idiot fool you, because while he may look like your mom on a Saturday night, he's really only doing 4.4 damage. And despite being size 100, he's only level 1 and can only devour 37, so we're a very fragile fish. But I feel like as the poop levels up, he's gonna get very strong, even if he tips upside down and goes to the ground. I really think the damage is gonna scale a lot as we go. And not unlike real life, I'm gonna enjoy eating a few things off the ground. Uh, I actually had an eel eating me because this thing is weak. It's really big, but it's really weak because we're only level 1. But we did manage to mulch that up, so there we go. Easy experience. So clearly today it's going to be easy to get complacent and think I'm much stronger than I am because I'm way bigger than I'm supposed to be. But there is level 2 in our devour size and damage went all the way up to 5.3. So in these early stages of the game, despite my incredible size, I need to stay way away from all the fish in the middle. I need to find little ones on the outside. We're going to get really big and strong, and I don't care how many turtles I have to eat to get there, but for now we gotta be very careful. And I don't know why I swim with a limp, but it's not very intimidating. If I zoom in far enough, I actually get an in-mouth view, so we can just see what's going in our mouth at all times. But that would also be obnoxiously hard to play. There was a little fish right here, I'm trying to find it again. I don't blame it for running, I would be very confused if I saw this in the ocean as well. For now we're gonna try and eat these little fish, cause this is actually a lot of experience for a level 2 fish. It's actually really hard to do this, cause I'm not entirely sure where like my mouth hitbox is, I don't know where the fish need to be in order for me to hit them. Sometimes it seems really easy and sometimes like I have no idea where my mouth actually is. One of the other challenges of this fish is this. I keep popping out of the water because I'm so big. If I try and zoom out just a little, it zooms me out a mile. But I'm pretty sure, yep, there's one of those aggressive fish right in front of me. Okay, it's too shallow. I gotta go into mouth view, but I see a crab, so I was gonna try and hoover that up. Yep, we got it. There's also another little aggressive fish, so we're gonna go after that. We don't want to be a bottom feeder forever. Get in my mouth. Okay, I got both of them. Oh, that's their little spawn cave. I could actually just sit here and put my mouth over it and suck the fish out of it. I'm putting my mouth on their hole. Experience gain might also be turned down a little bit because I'm only level 3 now and I put a lot of things in my mouth already. But now that I am level 3, our damage jumped all the way up to 6.3, so that's actually pretty good. And fish can't devour us, I think, because we are size 116, so it would take a really big fish to devour us. They can still hurt us pretty badly. Like, one chomp from any regular sized fish and we're dead, especially because we can't often see what we're doing. There is a stabby fish that doesn't seem that concerned by me. I could go take a bite out of him. I don't think they can fight back. I don't know if I can catch it though, it's very quick, and I swim with the limp, so I might have no chance of catching this thing at all. In theory, I could just put it in my colossal mouth, but that doesn't seem to be an option. And I'm not going to follow it into the center of the map, or I'm going to get sharked. I found where the little octopuses hang out, or whatever this is, maybe that's not an octopus, whatever it is, it's going in my mouth. Now we just gotta find the rest of its family. Surely it had some kids around, I can also eat those. Ooh, that looks expensive. Uh, I don't think I can take one of those on. I gotta remember that despite my size, I'm really only a very weak level 3 fish. There's also a hammerhead shark, so we're not gonna go over here. It's strange, because despite how intimidating I look, I'm like the biggest baby in the ocean. Anything would kill me. This starfish could probably kill me if it wanted to. I'm like 40% sure these things don't bite very hard, so if I get a moment, I'm going to give it a little nibble. Okay, I got a good bite on it. It bit me back. It didn't do a lot of damage. I think I can take this one on. These ones strike me as something that don't do a lot of damage. Get in my mouth. Our damage actually went up as we were biting, and it settled back down to 7.4, but this might have the ability where the more we bite on something, the higher our damage goes. And that's going to inspire me to be crazy reckless and take on fish I shouldn't be taking on. But for now, I'm going to try and eat a giant school of these, because look at these all. My mouth is so big that I should be able to fit those all in one go, but the hitbox is I don't know where. There we go, I turned into them and got a whole bunch of experience. We're now up to level 5 and a quarter. 132 size, 8.7 damage. Ooh, mantis shrimp. Those are fun. Get in my mouth. You googly-eyed moron, get in there. Okay, I gave it one little nibble. I think I gave it another nibble. It's hard to see what's going on down there. I just sort of have to believe it's getting in there. And another one of these intimidating fish. I think I got a bite on it. And there we go. Bit it a few times. Yeah, damage is going all the way up to about 20. Still took a few good bites to eat it, but I'm glad my damage increases. We're up to 140 size, so we're 40% bigger than when we started. I'm a lot bigger than the hammerheads, but I don't know if I'm strong enough to do this. But using my bite ability, oh, I'm way bigger than a hammerhead. Uh, they don't seem to be very uh, aggressive towards me. They did get a bite on me there, but I got a bite on it and I win that battle. So that gave me a lot of confidence I don't need. I don't know if fish base their aggression on like if they're bigger than me or not. That thing hurts a lot. Okay, that one hurts a lot. We are going to have to eat this and not attack those again. 
Uh, but I don't think they'll be very aggressive toward me just based on my size, but they don't really know that I don't do like any damage at all. That looks delicious also. Uh, I'm pretty sure that one's a Megalodon, so I don't know what it's doing way over here, but that's horrifying. And I cannot see a thing. I don't know what attacked me. I got the danger sound, but the Megalodon is right behind me and I cannot fight that. I think that's also two fairly large sharks. They would both attack me and kill me, and the water's pretty shallow over here, so I'm gonna slowly go back the other way and hope the Megalodon sort of just moved on with his day. Although there are a few very small fish here. They're very hard to see because I'm so big and in the way, but there was 13 experience for eating whatever that was. I think I just saw the Megalodon as the water clipped through the camera there. Uh, oh, there's definitely something big there. We're going back the other way. Yeah, put that ocean in your mouth. You stop for no one. Oh, look, a cute little crab. I'll put you in my mouth. 21 experience. The starfish is worth more. There's definitely some kind of shark in front of me. We're just going to go ahead and try and out firepower it. Is this going to work? Are we going to get away with this? We don't always get away with fighting sharks. Okay, we got away with that one. I'm definitely getting out of this area, though. As soon as I put the rest of that meat in my mouth. No, we just sort of pray that that thing doesn't eat me and that the Megalodon is no longer sitting right here. Our damage is up to 20, so we're pretty good there. Our health isn't that high though, so anything reasonable takes a bite out of us and we're dead. And sharks have all shapes. Hello. That's a problem. So I'm probably going to have to avoid that part of the map for a little while. And I've got to feast on these little baby morons for a while until I'm big enough to fight some of the bigger sharks. Maybe more accurately fight more of the bigger sharks comfortably. I can fight a lot of things, but survival rate's gonna be pretty low. When in doubt, just spawn camp these things. This really actually is a pretty foolproof way to do this. If you stay in safe areas of the map and just feast on little fish, you can still level up hugely. Like I at level whatever, level 11, just eating a bunch of little sardines that are like smaller than my eyeballs. Come to think of it, we do actually have pretty small eyeballs. We probably don't see very well. Mostly we just do everything by our mouth. Uh, I think I found jellyfish. We're going to need a mouth for you to go ahead and eat these, whatever these are. Those are a lot of experience. But if there's one thing I really don't want to do, it's going to get stu uh, be getting stuck in a cave. Oh, look at those two fighting. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not allowed. There's no fighting in my area of the ocean. Get in my mouth. Oh, a little lobster thing. Uh, I don't, I'm not really sure where you are, but I need you in my mouth. Resistance is futile. I've got nothing but time to put things in my mouth. So if you could just kind of play ball with me, that would just make it easier. Okay, well, yeah, that's fine. We'll mochi up first. Are you too big to get in my mouth? I don't get what's happening. Okay, well, we're going to turn you into meat, and then there we go. 200 experience for whatever that thing was. I put weirder, more valuable things in my mouth before. I'm also pretty lost. I don't really know what part of the ocean I'm in right now, so that's never really a fun feeling. And I don't feel particularly stealthy, given that I'm this big. I'm such a big baby still, but there's also these things fighting right beside me. Well, you've got a really long neck, so you can't be that dangerous. You're like a giraffe. So these things are kind of fighting near the surface, which isn't great for me because I can't see, but my damage does go up to 50. Uh, we're doing 69 damage to this poor thing, so that's nice. And we're going to uh, try and eat it as soon as the camera wants to chill out. Well, it's dead at least. I had to go to mouth camera because I cannot see any time I get near the surface. We're going to chew you into bite-sized uh, pieces, which seems odd considering how big my mouth is. You're already in there. But you know what? Whatever, just get in there. I, let's not think too hard about this. That was a lot of experience. I don't know if I could have fought that thing all by myself. Uh, I definitely don't want to fight that thing over there, though. Mouth view this way. We did jump up to level 16, though, so whatever that was gave a lot of experience. I think that's a Megalodon, so we're going to go this way. I have definitely not put one of those in my mouth. Those are so rare. What are you doing near the surface? Oh, and there's also a tadpole thing. Oh, that's what he's doing. He's eating other idiots. So let's uh, see if we can get a bit of a better view of what's happening. I hear you. I don't see you. Did I eat it accidentally? I might have. Uh, I also got distracted by whale shark. So now at least I know where I am in the world. I'm in the spot where I'm much bigger than a whale shark, but not nearly as tough. But I should be able to chew through one of these reasonably quick as long as my damage keeps going up like it's supposed to. So I'm taking a bite out of this. It gave me danger sounds, but it's a whale shark. Let's be serious. It's as intimidating as an apple. They are trying to fight back. I'm just trying to see when it's actually dead so I know when to stop chewing it into smaller pieces. Oh, maybe they're both dead. Okay, I'm get getting pretty strong, but I'm definitely a glass cannon at this point. Like, I do a lot of damage, uh, but I still feel like I don't have a lot of health. I guess I'm up to a thousand health, but I would get destroyed by most reasonably reasonable sized sharks. I've heard a danger sound, but I'm so big now I don't really fit in the water here, so... Okay, got it. We're gonna fight this thing then. I think as long as we get a few good hits on first, we could probably- we just barely beat it. 
very, very barely. My devourer size is up to 158, so I think I can mostly devour most fish in the ocean. So I'm going to go over here, uh, away from the sharks, because sharks will still kill me. Can you get in my mouth? Can I eat you yet? Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and take a bite out of you, and that's going to do it. That's better. And I found a deep spot in the ocean again, so we're going to go with this sort of a hybrid vision. I don't even know how I got here suddenly. Yeah, the bloop obviously scales really, really quickly. Like, I already can't fit in the ocean and I'm only level 33. But that's definitely not good enough for me. We need to be bigger and stronger. We've got Megalodons and other big weirdos to fight. So this little guy's going to be my next victim as soon as he wants to try and play ball. Also you, since you're already here. Oh, perfect. Two for one. Okay, you're dead and you're dead. Gotcha. There's another fight going on. I can see it using my mouth vision. The shark was a clear winner there, but I'm about to be a clear winner over the shark. He might even try to be run from me. Oh, there's two of you. Good. I'll get double the kills. You, two hits, gone. And whatever you are, a smaller shark, whatever, get in my mouth. There's a shark chasing a dangerous fish up here. When we started, either of these would have absolutely destroyed me. That's it. Swim into my mouth. I'll save you. That was mine, you idiot. Give me that. Oh, you tried to fight me. You're not scared of me. This fish is, though. Well, not anymore, I guess, but he was. To try and give you some kind of scale of how big I already am, uh, <laughs> basically that. I don't fit in the ocean anymore, that's why I have to use mouth fish it. But if we go over there towards the icicles, which feels like like three lengths away, we'll get some uh, orcas and, and adorable penguins. I don't know what I ate that gave me so many levels, but I am level 37 already. I kind of missed when the big jump happened, but it might have just been as soon as I started eating sharks. Because I assume these are pretty big experience because they're supposed to be pretty dangerous. But I'm the danger now. Pretty sure I haven't eaten one of these. I always forget these are over here. But these are probably pretty safe to eat. I don't think they do a lot of damage for their size. Probably not as much as me, at least. I'm not really sure how well I'm going to fit in the icy zone, but I see the big, like, king whale thing. Pretty sure this is about the second biggest idiot on the map. So we're going to have a bite off here. And he did take off a third of my health in one hit. So he will kill me if he gets a jump on me. Which he might because, well, I'm in mouth view. Okay, I ran into him again. I feel like we might have a problem where he's just going to spawn in our face continually. But that time he only took up a fifth of our health. So all the experience we got from him made us much stronger. We're up to 3000 HP. I want to get out of his zone though because I don't want to be endlessly ambushed by him. That's it, dummy. Come into the fish. It's a thousand times bigger than you. That's very wise. And got him. Yeah, I'm getting away from this. That's going to get really annoying and he will eventually kill me. We are level 51. Our size is 650. And at the rate this fish scales... Uh, it's definitely going to be the biggest fish I've ever <laughs> used in this game. We're already as big as the ice zone itself. That's definitely not something you want to see sticky out of the ocean when you're out kayaking. I can't remember if I actually managed to put one of these in my mouth. I think this one's a dolphin. Whatever the case, it's now digested. What I really need to do is make my way to the other side of the map because there's other high-end fish over there that's like the super danger zone. I normally avoid there until I'm this big. Ooh, a marlin. I can see it over there in the shadows. Probably won't be able to catch that because I'm not a very efficient swimmer. These two, on the other hand, will get in my mouth. Pretty sure I can just absorb both of them? No? Well, I can fight one of them to death, that's for sure. Oh good, I found the crocodile thing. This is also one of the big fish on the map. He is pretty big. I'm obviously bigger, but like as far as normal fish go, that would be intimidating. Come on, there it is. He tried to attack me. He's still strong. Wow, that's a really strong fish. I didn't realize those are so big. That's... Uh, I'm going to have to watch out for where he respawns because he can probably still kill me. I really only am level 56. I'm so big that I actually keep scaring myself when the bottom of my mouth shows up in the lower right. I think it's a giant fish coming towards me. Probably exactly what this poor thing is feeling right now. Get a little bit closer, we'll absorb that and whatever these little things are. Didn't have to, I just wanted to. There's some dark blurry shapes in the distance. We're naturally going to put those in our mouth. That looks like a whale shark being attacked by one of the uh, giraffe things. I'll go ahead and referee the situation. I am going to absorb uh, well, both of them, actually. I can actually absorb a whale shark and just by breathing. I think I might have got turned around because I don't think I'm supposed to see those fish where I wanted to go. I've circled back to where the whale sharks are now, so I know where I am. I'm just confused as to how I got here. But when you're the a fish the size of the ocean, you're kind of just going to wind up where you wind up. Our damage is up to 1372. I'm pretty sure the Megalodons is like 2,500 though, so I think if I fight him, he will kill me in two hits. And I think he's a lot faster than me, so we've got just a little bit more fish deep before we're going to go. But this is the danger side of the map. That's why there's these two fighting, the bunch of sharks down there, and then that thing. Also that other thing up there. You're just surrounded by danger here. I think I got the size to be able to deal with everything though. I can just kind of go like this. Oh, the cute sharks. I forgot about those. 
Well, look who it is. Well, since he's right here, we're going to have to go for it because he's going to go for us. Uh, he is distracted. Oh, no, he's not. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Okay. What? Hello. You can also die. Okay. We defeated the Megalodon. Uh, we took our chance and we went for it. Pretty sure he did bite us once though, so his damage wasn't as bad as I thought. But that's a relief because I didn't want to have to reset this. The game's obviously not loving what I'm doing. Oh, is this your spawn location? You just spawned in right here. Where, where are your friends? Well, that's fine. I didn't want to suck you up anymore anyway. I've moved around to whale sharks. I'm pretty sure actually with a fish that's this big, that scales this big, uh, he will get so big he might actually take up the entire ocean. Uh, <laughs> because as it is, I'm still getting bigger and I'm only level 66. Like I zoomed out and this is my mouth. It looks like the open ocean, but we're inside my mouth. And this actually works out really well because normally when you're this big, you really can't see. Your fish can't maneuver and you can't see because everything's just in the way of everything. But because of this mouth view, we actually have the unique ability to do this. I'm more or less at the point where I just need to hold down right click to try and eat things because it's getting hard to see. And I, it's hard to tell where my like eating zone is. I messed with the camera a little bit and I'm not entirely sure how we got here. But I'm going to take it because look how good this vision is finally. Now I can really see the targets I'm trying to eat. And we're back in the danger zone, but that just means good experience for us. And I think this area is going to be some really good experience for me. Well, there's the fog of the water back. <laughs> Not sure what that's about. Well, we have some intermittent water fog. We'll just have to make the best of that because I'm really breaking the game at this point. And there's the big dummy again. So we'll see if we can spawn camp him for a minute because that's easy experience to make us real big. Yep, that's it. Come toward me. Can I... Oh, I can not actually devour you. You do hurt when you bite me, but I hurt you more. Look how much bigger we are than that thing. He looks so small in there now, and that's normally a colossal sized fish. We're just, you know, bigger. Okay, we gotta serve him to a position where we can sort of spawn camp him, because he's just gonna spawn somewhere right here in our face. We can eat him. We're already up to level 75. Every time we eat him, we get a few levels, which means we get bigger and stronger. He's still trying to attack me, though. We just turn him into a meat explosion every time he tries. <laughs> what I want now is to try and find the Megalodon because we're <laughs> getting pretty big. We are just about the size of the ocean at this point and we've still got a little ways to go. My mouth is literally bigger than the ocean. It goes into the ground at the bottom and above the water at the top. There's our good friend the Megalodon. I don't know if our mouth even works at this point to be honest. I can't tell where it is because I don't know like where we are. He's sort of just going through us at this point. He doesn't care anymore. Or he doesn't even realize that he's currently inside of me because I'm so big it just seems like the ocean. But if you've ever wondered how big the bloop gets, it's something like this. Okay, another 25 levels made me way bigger. That was just 25 levels. This is a 1574 size. Uh, we've turned blue, but we're now 1874 size. I think in total we're definitely much bigger than the map. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've sufficiently broken the game at this point. Pretty much half the map is in my mouth at any one time, and if we move forward, the whole map will be in there. So I went ahead and added another 50 levels to our size. We had to scroll out for a few minutes to get here. Yes, uh, the map size is roughly the size of like our forehead now. We've got the whole world in our mouth, basically. You can actually see the Megalodon in there. It's mm, like a tenth of the size of one of my eyes. 2500 size currently, I think it maxes out at 3000 so we can actually still get bigger. Or maybe the bloop doesn't have a size limit, it, because it's a custom fish, it might work around the regular constraints of the game, and I don't know. We are now 4200 size, I can't really find the world anymore. I don't know if we swam away from it or it's inside of us, uh, we just broke everything entirely. But then what happens if we had another 250, we still get bigger. 250 levels at a time, oh we might have hit something of a maximum now. Maybe we're still growing? What's our size? 5,000. Oh yeah, 5,000 is the limit. But the world is definitely like the size of one of our particles at this point. Okay, broke the game. That's all, bye.